tell us about um, the operations uh, that you guys, how, how things have developed at the AP and the kind of services you're providing and where that might be going. We, two years ago, launched a pretty extensive training program of in-house AP staffers. We focused on two areas, the text reporters and the still photographers. The text reporters uh, were separately trained and primarily given a high-end consumer camera. Uh, we spent a week with them. They were video journalists that trained them and they were, were they left the training session and went back to their bureaus. Because we're a big place and there's a lot of moving parts, um, we knew that there would be some folks that would rise to the top in terms of their skill sets, their abilities, and even even the uh, opportunities that, say, their editor would provide them to cover video news. So what we did is we took this um, th these folks that I called you know the cream uh, of the group of. 100 plus text journalists and we gave them high-end uh, video journalist quality cameras. We invested about $15,000 in equipment for all of them. And so now what we have is um, a group of a dozen right now and there'll be another 10 this year that will get those high-end cameras of journalists in the AP, text journalists that are doing multi-format journalism. And they're, in some cases, providing, it might be just some B-roll, it might be a video interview, and in some cases, fully produced, self-contained uh, stories, video stories. On the still side, with the, the breakthrough, the Canon 5D Mark II cameras, um, that has been game-changing as well in that the cameras shoot amazing video, and the one thing I never imagined happening is you have, here you have visual storytellers being still stills I'm talking about. So they're already trained to um, capture a story in one frame and the quality of video that they're shooting is just it's beautiful. It, it's, it's remarkable. So we put them through a, a completely different training session with a focus on how do we come up with new ways of telling stories, video stories uh, for new devices and of course the internet. One focus is that we have with the stills is what we call video essays and it's a very simple definition for what we call a video essay and that is it's first person storytelling so no anchor voice uh, with a combo of stills and video and why do we put stills in a video story well we know that how strong these guys are and how powerful a single image can be and so we've seen some uh, great success with that and are going to continue along that line.